Therefore, the great Mujaddid of Islam, Qutbul Alam, Shaykh al Islam wal Muslimin, Al Qutb Imam Ahmad Raza Radi Allah Ta'ala, Irshad Farmate, Wallah Jo Mil Jaye Mere Gul Ka Pasina, Wallah Jo Mil Jaye Mere Gul Ka Pasina, Mange Na Kabi Itr, Na Pir Chaye Dulan Pool. Even a bride, if if a bride gets a drop of perspiration of Sayyidina wa Mawlana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's awesome and beautiful fragrance is so great that she will not even ask for atar or she wouldn't ask for any fragrant flower. That's how the, the great ashiq of, 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 of the beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes the, uh, the, 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 the pasina, the, the, the sweat of the beloved Habib alayhi salatu wa salam. Do you know? That when the Sahaba came, or specifically let's come to this, this point, is one day then the beloved Habib والسلام, was sitting amongst his Sahaba, like the moon amongst the stars. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ke chan jo hai, uski jurmut mein sitare baithe He was sitting in Masjid Nabuwi Sharif, and so happened that every Sahaba was checked with divine awe. And he fell asleep. All of them fell asleep. Huzoor ki ruhaniyat aur huzoor ki nubuwat ki tabish aur huzoor ki nubuwat ki asrar o anwar zahir huye. When this happened, that every Sahabi felt drowsy and he slept. Fell off to sleep. When they slept, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got up and went away. Where he went? Not home. He went away to a specific uh, garden, a specific uh, date garden, an orchard. And he went and sat down there. The first person to get up amongst the Sahaba and gain conscious, wo behoshi ke alam mein pade huye, Masjid Nabuhi Sharif. Yek a yek, nothing. Not, no specific external happening. Khud ba khud wo be, wo ghunud ki tari ho gai, so gai. Sab se pehle utne wale Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta. When he got up, he looked, he didn't find the Nabi alayhi salatu was salam and he got very worried. Sayyidina Abu Huraira didn't go to the door of Sayyidina Aisha Siddiqa and knock it to ask where is the Nabi. Wo na, wo na, wo darwaze pe ne gai. Sayyidina Aisha Siddiqa ka makan bilkul muttasil tha. Masjid Nabi Sharif, it is adjacent to it. He didn't go and knock there to ask whether the Nabi alayhi salatu was salam is in, in the home. He didn't go to the door of Sayyidah Fatima the Zahra radiallahu ta'ala and ask, is Allah's beloved Habib at, at your home? No. He got up and he started walking. Chalte gaye. As he walked, eventually he came to uh, this date plantation, but there was a wall. But he's standing there. He's standing there, he's trying to get in, he couldn't get in. So he found a slight opening on the gutter. He got in through the gutter and there, he find the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam sitting in the garden. I would ask you a question. How did Sayyidina Abu Hurair radiallahu ta'ala know that the, Allah's muqaddas Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam is sitting in a certain garden? How did he know? Did, did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam before they went unconscious? Did he tell them, I'm going to a certain place? No. Did, he didn't go to say the Aisha Siddiqah's house. He didn't go to say the Fatima the Zahra's house, which was adjacent to the Masjid al Nabawi Sharif. How did he go there? How did he find him? Huzur ki khushbu sunte hoye pounch gaye. Huzur ki khushbu jaha paaya unho ne, unho kaha ke huzur yehi se guzar gaye. Unki mahak ne dil ke ghunche khila diye hai. Great Mujaddid has not left anything untouched. Allah Hazrat radiyallahu ta'ala is that ashiq azar and ashiq sadiq of the beloved Habib alayhi salatu wasalam that he has given us food for love. Unki mahak ne dil ke ghunche khila diye hai, jis raha chal gaye hai, kuche basa diye hai. Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam at any given place if you passed, you left a trail of awesome fragrance that the sahaba used to smell and go there. خیر کہاں سے کہاں بات پہنچ گئی I was telling you about Sayyidina Adam Allah Nabi Alayhi Salatu Salam and eventually he came past that area 
تو اس کا مطلب ہوا کہ نیپال از اے مقدس پلیس جہاں حضرت آدم علیہ السلام کے قدم پڑے ہوا اٹ از اے مقدس پلیس اٹ از گفٹڈ پلیس اٹ از اے بلیسڈ پلیس ان ریچ اینڈ ایونچولی آن دا نائنت آف ذی الحجا سیدا ہوا رضی اللہ تعالی ان اینڈ سیدا آدم علیہ السلاۃ والسلام میٹ آفٹر تھری ایئرز تھری ہنڈریڈ ایئرز آف سپریشن کہاں عرفات کے میدان میں کس جگہ پہ جبل الرحما کے اوپر آن دا ماؤنٹ آف جبل جبل الرحما آن دا ماؤنٹ آف مرسی دیٹس وے دے میٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی لو دس یونین آف ہز ٹو بلوڈ سرون سو مچ سو دیٹ وہ حج کا ایک رکن بن گیا اٹ بیکیم اے کنڈیشن آف حج دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو گو ان ٹو عرفات وائی یو گو ٹو عرفات کہ آدم علیہ السلام کمز ایوری ایئر بی بی ہوا کمز ٹو میٹ سیدھ آدم علیہ السلام ہر سال آتے ہوا نہیں Then again you find another ritual, very important ritual in Hajj. Some bright spark says, why should I do this? I don't want to do this. I'm coming here to make tawaf of the Kaaba. But why make tawaf of the Kaaba? Why go around seven times? Kaaba ko dek liye, bas ho gaya. To see the Kaaba is ibadah. It's to see ibadah when you're performing salah, you are ordered to look down at the And, and in Jahe Sujood, the place of Sajda, the point of Sajda, that's where you concentrate. But what are you going to concentrate when you are standing in front of the Kaaba? What would you do? When you're concentrating, looking at the ground, because of distance, it's a criteria, it's far away, you try to visualize, mutawajjihan ila jahatil kaabati sharifati, Allahu Akbar. A Sufi, a wali of Allah, was asked, What is the difference between a Muslim and a Mu'min? <coughs> Technically, if you look at it, both mean the same. We say Muslim or Mu'min, you will translate it in English as a believer. But there is some mystical uh, meanings, in-depth meanings, secret meanings of both these words. So, if someone has asked from a Durwesh, if someone has asked from a Mas Qalandar, if someone has asked from a Mas Qalandar, What is the difference between a mu'min and a Muslim? So this inspired servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A Muslim is he, when he stands for salah, he will try to visualize the Kaaba. A Muslim is he who in salah will try to visualize the Kaaba to Allah, and he'll perform and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But a mu'min is he, the moment he starts his salah and glorifies Allah, Allahu Akbar, takbir tahrima, the moment he does that, the Kaaba is present in front of him. Kaaba unke saamne a jata hai. Muslim woh hai, to takhayyulat ke zariye se Kaaba ke saamne pounchta hai. Ar mu'min woh hai, jo Allah ki yaad karte hi Kaaba uske saamne a jata hai. This is a different, this is a, this is a mystical explanation of it. And it, it, it means, it means a lot. It is the fact. Unfortunately, time constraints, I, could, I cannot elaborate. The idea, the whole theme here is to see that you are linked with somebody who is the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right. You want salvation, you link yourself to any, any, بلوت سرفن اللہ کے قرب حاصل کرنا ہو تو کسی بھی اللہ کا نیک بندہ یا اللہ کا محبوب بندے کی ساتھ میں لگ جاؤ ٹرائی اینڈ سٹ ان اس کمپنی اٹ ڈزنٹ دس کمپنی ہے اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سے یا یو الزین آ منو اتق اللہ او بلیورز فی اللہ و کونو ما الصادقین اللہ حکم دیتا ہے اینڈ جوائن دا کمپنی آف دی Ah, yes, there is no specific law or specific uh, uh, command of uh, the nature of the command is not specific, it is general. Yeh farmaya ke zinda ho. Nek banda zinda ho. They're the servant of Allah, the beloved servant of Allah, the truthful servant of Allah has to be alive. Allah didn't say, he said, kunum as sadiqi. Join the company of the beloved. Whether he is alive or whether he passed away. And if he passed away, it doesn't make him any different. Because while he was alive, he's a wali. When he passes away in his grave, he's still a wali. <laughs> 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 to 
is very important points you have to understand. These things, the Muslim Ummah has been fragmented with this because of misunderstanding. Allah give us all tawfiq and hidayat. A Nabi is a Nabi while he's alive. When he passes away, he's still a Nabi. If a man as a sinner on this earth dies as a sinner, in his grave he's still a sinner. If a Muslim while he's alive, he'll be a Muslim in his grave. It's not to say that he's a, he's a Muslim in his, while he's alive, when he dies he becomes a kafir. Oh, a kafir doesn't become a Muslim after he dies. Change of space, change of place doesn't change his state. His state is still the same. Therefore, the Hadith al Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, Al Anbiya wal Awliya Ahya'un. A Wali, a Nabi of Allah, and a Wali of Allah. Ahya'un. They are alive. Yusalluna fi quburihim kama yusalluna fi buyutihim. They perform salah in their graves as they used to perform salah in their homes. This hadith. Is, is, is quoted by uh, Sultan al-Awliya Sayyidun al-Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani radi Allah ta'ala in his sirr al-Asrar, secret of secrets. So if anybody contests this hadith, they must contest the station and status of Huzur Ghosal Azam radi Allah. Allah, Allah. If you can't contest his status and his dignity and, and his understanding of deen, then it is best to keep quiet and respectfully accept what he quotes. So, Remember, in this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed pillars of support. For who? For this ummah, for the weak persons of this ummah. Reason being, because this ummah is beloved to Allah. And the reason for that is because this ummah is loved by his beloved. So this has got a chain reaction. We are in the chain. We are in the main chain. So it is your duty to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not do things that will affect or hurt the Nabi sallallahu If you love the Nabi, if anybody loves the Nabi, doesn't perform his salah, he's a liar. If he says that I love Allah and I don't read the prayer, he's a liar. He said that the prayer is a liar. The prayer and salah is the coolness of my eye. So you have an, a direct effect. If you don't perform your salah, you're hurting the eye, the most delicate organ of the body of a human being. You're hurting the Nabi. You're causing him embarrassment. Because on the day of Qiyamah when you will be judged and you don't perform your salah, he said, this whose ummah? Allah's Habib's ummah. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will get affected, will, will feel hurt. So, it is very important for you to do your first duties that will make the Nabi happy. If you love him, you will love and obey everything he has given you. وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُزُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ أَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ Abstain from all that which he has forbidden and take and obey and fulfill all that which he has given you. So this is very important. Link yourself to a beloved servant. Irrelevant of whether he's black, white, he's from this country or from any country in the world. A wali of Allah, he can be any color or creed, he can be anywhere. He's a wali of Allah, he's beloved. Don't look at him on his outlook. Nobody here today can even dare to even stand up or have the courage to say there is no difference between me and the black slave Sayyidina Bilal who became a, 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 a Sahaba of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Can you ever, can you, you can't even dare to even claim similarity between yourself and this sand or the dust under his feet. You can't say Bilal, you have to say Sayyidina Bilal. And when you say Sayyidina Bilal, you say Radi Allah Ta'ala An. Allah is pleased with him. Because he is a beloved of the Nabi Ali Salatu Salam and whoever became the beloved has become the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So link yourself. This is a month of Shaban. What do you have to do in Shaban is very important. This is a month to water your good deeds so that it sprout. And in the coming month in Ramadan al Mubarak you can reap the fruits. So if you don't observe this month and observe the laws and regulations that has been set down to you in the, in the Sharia of the beloved Habib alayhi salatu salam, 
so you are at loss. So now focus yourself. Leave this room.